YouTube, Chris Lang here from Lang Shop. On this video, we're gonna shorten Dan's 1972 C10 pickup. So on the 72, we're gonna be uh, shortening it. It's a long box. We're gonna cut, section it, and weld it back together. So the first thing to do is Dawson's marked off our rivets. We're gonna shear off these factory body mounts. And we're also gonna take off the front mounts from the long box. So let's take a chisel and shear those off. We also still have this brake line here that Dawson's gonna remove. So we're just gonna follow it to the back here. So you can use a line wrench and uh, loosen off that nut. She's still smoking. It's gonna be loud. Me loud. Don't throw these factory mounts away. We're gonna bolt them back onto the frame after we're done shortening it. So hang on to them. Now that Dawson has the brake line out and I've got the cab mounts and long box bed mounts off, we can uh, start marking off our frame on where to cut it. So let's get into it. Dawson's taping off the frame. What we're going to do is we're going to use a square and a marker so we get a nice fine tip so we get a nice clean cut. When I shorten frames, I like to remove this indentation in the chassis. So Dawson's gonna start his mark roughly right here. So let's start marking that out. Interesting. Oh my God. All right, the width of this frame is six inches, so Dawson has marked the center of the frame at three inches, and we're gonna draw a straight line. Pause for effect. Nice, so now that, now that we have that line, fuck me. So from our first line, now we're gonna remove 12 inches out of the center of the frame. So now that we have our four quadrants, like Dawson says, we can remove certain sections. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the bottom quadrant and then the top quadrant. Looking good for the tube? Looking good for the tube. X marks the spot. That will be 
I should have worn something a little bit more fancier. So that's where you want me to cut it? Right there. Right there? Right there. See how fancy this is? This line carries all the way across. Nice. All that's remaining on this side is we're going to transfer the measurements from that side to this side. So before we cut the frame, we're going to put some jack stands at the back and at the front so then when we do cut it, if it moves at all, we can steady the frame. That doesn't make any sense, does it? No. Before we cut the frame, we're going to put some jack stands at the back and at the front to hold it nice and square. No, it's square. It doesn't it's make sense. Move. Okay, cut three. Or take two. <laughs> three. Three. Yeah. Three. Take nine. <laughs> Before we cut the frame, we're going to put some jack stands at the back and at the front, so when we cut it, it doesn't drop down. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs>
glue it back together. Before we weld this frame solid, I would like to check the measurements on the frame. So what we can do is we can pick up a, uh, a point, let's say this factory rivet, and we're going to measure ahead to, let's say, this factory rivet, and then the same thing on that side. So we'll check our length, and then we're going to check for squareness. What do we got? 30 inches there. 30 there. Forty-three and a half to that one. Forty-three and a half to that. Beauty. Let's weld it up. Okay, now I've finished welding up the frame rail. Next step to do is let's head to the back and cut off the rear frame rail and make it a true short box. All right, Dawson's gonna whip out eight inches and cut it off. <laughs> So because we cut the ends of the frame off, we're going to need to put the holes back in the frame to bolt the box cross member back on. So we're going to use the existing ends and just transfer the holes. Now we can take a drill bit and a die grinder and open up that hole. The last thing to do is because we've slid this whole frame rail ahead, we actually have to take the factory cab mounts and from here, we have to move them back 12 inches because we slid it 12 inches ahead. Now we got to take these and move them 12 inches back. So what Dawson's done is he's taken the, the location of the factory mounts and he's measured 12 inches back. And what we'll do is we'll drill these two holes, mount, the cab mount and then use the front holes as guys to drill new holes and bolt them on. Let's do that. All right, there you have it. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to short a 1967 to 1972 C10 pickup. Make sure you like and subscribe on my YouTube page and follow for more videos.